Hello everyone, this is Better Mix, and today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. I just got this amazing thing, and I'm going to unbox it, and then I'm going to install it in my workstation, because that might be something that some people might want to see how to do. Maybe if you haven't installed multiple uh, GPU cars on your system. So, let's do that! Okay, so let's start with this thing. It's just a really simple box. So it's one of the simplest packages I've seen. So it's gonna be really simple to open. Opens over here. That up. Oh, there it is. That's all the stuff that comes uh, with the with the card the connector for uh, adapter from A to double six, which we might be using. An adapter from DVI to DisplayPort, which I might not be gonna be using because I have DisplayPort. Uh, some uh, manuals and stuff we don't need. And this is the most beautiful thing. GTX 1080. Look at that. Looks beautiful. It's, there's some protector uh, plastic here. Let's remove that. Don't like these things. Remove them all the time. This is the connection you can use one eight uh, pin connection or two six pins. There's the ports, one HDMI and three display ports. So now let's install this thing in the, in the uh, workstation. All right, so this is my workstation. This is, this is it, a little bit dirty since I have it under my desk. But let's uh, take it out. It up. I guess it's going to be way more dirty inside for sure. It's a huge mess. As you can see there's a lot of dirt here. So we need to clean this up first with a little bit of a, a can air. And I'm going to dust it off first before we continue. All right. All right. So I took it outside and just clean it up with the uh, air. Now it's cleaner. You can see I have a bunch of stuff here already. I have uh, an SSD here, two drives here, another drive here, another SSD, uh, SSHD drive here, and I already have two cards here. Uh, but we're gonna remove the, I think this one is the uh, 720, 7, uh, 970, sorry. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm going to leave the uh, 1070 plus the 1080 Ti here. So let's uh, change those right now. And I'm going to speed up this part. Alright, if you have a latch like this on, on my computer, you need to press this thing and open this latch first. You can see it there. And then you can remove the, uh, the uh, Phillips screws over here. So to uh, remove the, the uh, graphics card. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna move the uh, screws and these connectors are the ones that we're gonna hook up back again. This one uses an eight pin connector. As you can see, there's an extra uh, one there. And this one uses two uh, connectors, which is two six pins. And there's an extra one here that we're actually gonna use for the uh, other cards so just make sure you have enough connectors like this if you're going to use multiple GPUs so just to remove the card there's a little uh, secure lock here on the base just remove move it up a little bit and move the card out it's going to start to move and you can see now the card is out this is the first one and this is the 970 which is going to go to my second um, my second uh, work station and this guy should fit in the top position because it's the same size as the previous one there you go fits there's a little bit of a gap even so let's just screw it up all right so there we go the cars are uh, fixed in place you can see the screws over here you can't see them but there's they're over here, doesn't matter, I'm going to close this latch, 
and it needed to be open. Now we need to connect these things. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we had before. It's going to use an 8 pin for this guy. See this, kind of, this is kind of a composite cable that has could be a 6 or an 8 in case you only need a 6 pin. But this card needs an 8 pin, so composing that into an 8 pin. And this gun ha needs an 8 and a 6. So we have this guy here that can make this other one a, an 8. And this one is a 6. So we're going to put this 6 here. Maybe the 8 first over there. Alright, so the pins are in. And now the cars are fixed in place. And we are done with installation. And this is all we need to do for the hardware installation. If you don't have the drivers for your car, or you have only one car, then you just install uh, any drivers you need for that from the NVIDIA side or the AMD side, whatever you're using. In this case, I'm using NVIDIA cards. But uh, then you just install the drivers, and that's it. Hey guys, so that's it for this. This is very simple to do. Just make sure you keep your computer clean, uh, take it out once in a while and, and uh, remove the dirt. Can, uh, that can cause some problems sometimes. Uh, and make sure the, the cars are perfectly sitting in the slot because sometimes if you don't see it correctly. Uh, there could be errors or glitches. And make sure you have enough power for, to power uh, up your cars and your drives and your fans and all that stuff and you're going to have to have a good uh, power source here. I have a 900 watt power source which is enough for this. These cars don't consume as much power as the older ones so it's okay and I have a bunch of drives but again these drives don't use much power, the SSD ones and I still have a bunch of connections that I, if I want to use or connect any other stuff there. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to finish assembling my computer and put it back in place and uh, start doing some uh, editing of this, alright? Uh, thank you guys. Uh, hope you liked this episode. Let me know if you like this kind of episode. Uh, if you want to support the channel, again, you know, please go to Patreon and help us there with whatever you want. And uh, that's it. Let's keep learning together, guys. Cheers!